even if things get worse for me before they get better, oh, things are going to get better. There's some big people going to prison. <laughs> On the issue of my family, uh, I want to talk about somebody I've never brought up before because he's good to me. But now it's relevant because he repeatedly asked me, did I want to meet President Obama, which I didn't because I'd already met Obama and I've never really been impressed with Obama. I, vo I voted for him twice, but only because I was a stupid uh, LGBT that thought I had to vote Democrat because somebody told me that. <laughs> What a stupid ass I was for voting for that dumbass twice in a row. Barack Obama's the filthiest disgrace of the presidency ever. At any rate, Joe Dusenberry is also my cousin. Second cousin. Joe, Dusty, all them. They also are related to the Simmons and the Fordhams. So this is all my mom's side of the family, FBI, DOJ, Fordhams. It's Julie that said that Jerry killed Trudy. And Bart Fordham must know... Uh, I think Bart must have been the one that drove her to the pool because he looks like the sketch. And Aunt Wanda showed up in my driveway four months ago, told me about the Aryan Nation crap that I knew nothing about. I mean, come on, you guys. You got everything you need. Anyway, Joe Dusenberry, he's always been good to me. But he did uh, protection for Obama, like in foreign countries and stuff. He used to post photos. And I'd be like, seriously, Joe, you're posting photos as you're protecting the president on your Facebook page? But now that said, Joe has always been good to me. Um, I think Joe was trying to maybe reach out to me. Some other members of my family, my cousin Rhonda, who, my, who uh, by the way, Johnny Marks at the Argus, which is now owned by the Times, he, uh, he used to harass me, call me Queenie at the Argus. Finally, one day he said, yeah, I threw your cousin Rhonda over the top of my Cadillac and effed her. I ended up getting a settlement um, out of the Argus. And I can talk about that now because that uh, company no longer exists. It was bought by um, the Quad City Times. But yeah, I went after Johnny Marks. Um, oh, Jerry Taylor told me once that he didn't approve of my lifestyle, but that that... Um, shouldn't allow John Marks to harass me. The whole town's filthy, homophobic, hateful. If you don't agree to be a sex worker or a criminal in Rock Island, Illinois, they kill you. And that's the truth. And that's the hilariousness about the LGBT attacking me. Jerry and Sherry Bustos are dirty as hell. Period. That's why I'm here. I want them both locked up. And I have every right to say that the Moline police chief has been locked up and released. Two captains are in trouble. Jerry, you know what happened in the jail. I don't appreciate it. Neither you nor Sherry has offered me a single bit of apology. I do have federal protection. I'm tired of this. I'm going to get Eric Mail now to go after the county because you people are not right. This is nuts. And now you got Ryerson involved? How much evidence does everyone need? You're busted. You're busted. Period.